Okay, so I just um, shower, change my clothes, and I am going to apply the um, rosemary with coconut oil on my hair. I wash my face and I um, I wash my face and I applied um, the toner and the vitamin E um, lotion on my face and nothing else. So the um, rosemary tea with coconut um, oil are right here. It's, uh, it's warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, a little bit in my palm and I'm gonna gently massage it in my scalp. door right now and my husband's supposed to be feeding him dinner but apparently not so I have to hurry um, You want to massage it all the way down from the root of your hair to the bottom. You want to work it in. So right now, my hair smells like coconut oil and rosemary at the same time. Um, I'm gonna have to wear So when you do this, make sure you wear like a sweater or a shirt that you're willing to um, have oil on or stain because if you wear a nice shirt and if it stains, you're not going to be happy. Um, generally, the um, rosemary tea is like kind of like brownish color. And then the oil, of course, oil is like oil. Um, so, and you want to massage your hair, your head, just so that you can stimulate your scalp. Um, so you're, so you can see that my hair is wet from the oil and from the rosemary. Um, which I think is fabulous because you can actually, um, pick your hair up 
and then made a make a bun up here and you can go to sleep you can go to sleep with the shower cap on or you can just if you don't mind you can have a towel on your pillow but basically I'm gonna sleep like this tonight and that's it um, as for my face I'm gonna use this medicine mama be magic all-in-one healing cream yesterday um, I have an episode where I ate something or something was in the air and it got onto my skin. I have a bad allergic reaction where my upper lips were swollen, my back, my chest were swollen. And so I was on the phone with an advice nurse and um, she had told me that I need to go to the hospital because in the emergency room um, she does my eyes start to swell um, it was bad um, she doesn't want my because the swollen were going on my chest and on my throat she doesn't want it to my throat to swell up and I stopped breathing because when I called the advice nurse I took a Zan, uh, Zartec and still my swell did not go down. Normally with the Zyrtec, a lot of allergies, um, a lot of allergies reaction will go away. But for me, it did not. Within an hour, it did not. So they want me to be in the emergency room just so... That way, if I stop breathing, someone there to help, um, and they didn't want me to stay home, but it's kind of costly. Um, so it's like total medication and stuff like 300 bucks, which is kind of ridiculous. I didn't think I needed to go, but better be safe than sorry this this thing here you can use on your lip too because it is the winter and my skin is super duper dry and i needed to have lots of moisturizations when i go to bed because i want to make sure i wake up my skin is is like in good shape <laughs> so now I'm just gonna gently and quickly massage my face um, with my fingers and I'm not going to use the stone because I don't have time. I still have to go out there and feed my son dinner. So in the morning, if you're a busy person and you wanted to um, like stimulate your um, skin in the morning especially in, at you know in the winter time to, so when you wash your face just do circle up like this circle downward and circle outward outward where your cheeks and eyes are like you want to pull it out so you don't so you don't get wrinkle um, and then you massage circle, stick out your, you just use three fingers, like these stick out, and circles, and out, 
so now you got your shaping your chin and out and then for your lips you just go like this and your nose and under eye pull out pull out pull out pull out and as quickly as fast as possible and you can basically do this with soap um because soap is slippery just anything slippery um, and just give yourself 15 minutes or 20 minutes ahead of time so just wake up early 15 minutes early isn't going to help, but 15 minutes to wake up your, um, your cell here is, it, it's, it's what you need, um, well, what I need, and, um, I do a lot for my face and skin, um, and it helps because I'm in my 30s, not late 30s. But not early 30s. I'm in the between 30s. And so I don't want to start having wrinkles and stuff. And so I started doing a lot of massage or a lot of stuff. And because I have allergies to some of the products and stuff. So I try to keep it natural. And uh, as much as possible. Because I don't know what will make my lips swollen Or I don't know what's going to get my skin itches. I don't know um what's gonna cost what and even if my doctor doesn't want to do an allergy test the emergency doctor doesn't believe i need a test so you know though it looks very bad and severe but if the doctor doesn't recommend it because they want to make me try to try on everything but you know there's so much chemicals out there that is can be very harmful to your body and you don't know it just like me i come home from work and i was like oh my god i'm feeling something strange to my face something strange in my throat something strange on my back and chest and then i started sitting down lay down and i was like a balloon so all the chemicals out there what they put in can be good for us, can be bad. So we just have to do what we got to do and try to figure out what works best for us. Um, but basically, I think my skin looks fabulous and I'm going to keep on doing what I have to do to keep me looking fabulous. So thanks for watching and listening and you are special because you're alive, you know, no matter what happened out there, whether you're piling up in debt or whether you don't have or you're eating, you're sleeping on your friend's couch and eating noodles every day, you're alive and that's all that matters and it could always be worse. You know, life is a roller coaster up and down. You might be up here at the moment and then sometimes something happened, you started coming down and then you started to hit rock bottom. But when you're at rock bottom, the only way you can go is to go up. So just be thankful that you're alive and healthy because if you're not alive and not healthy, Nothing really matters, right? Money don't matter. Look at Steve Jobs. He was rich and cancer hit and he's dead. A lot of successful people have all the money, all the times, all the financial needs and everything. And they all end up dead. We all going to end up dead one day. Sorry to break the bad news to you. So do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. Don't be apologetic for being who you are. And don't be afraid of anything or anyone. If your boss come to you and said, We got to lay you off. We can't afford you. 
So, okay, give me my last paycheck, go out there, file for unemployment, find another job, go back to school, whatever you gotta do. It could always be worse. If you're homeless and you're sleeping in a car, be thankful that you have a car to sleep in. If you're homeless and you don't have a car and you're sleeping on your friend's couch, be thankful that your friend took you in and you have a couch to sleep on. Be grateful for just a tiny little bit of things that you have because you could, you could end up having nothing. I live in California. Wildfire happens. People lose overnight. People have to pack up their car, grab what they can grab, and get out of their house because the fire is coming in and people lose everything. So, with that being said, be thankful, be grateful, be mindful, be nice, and be kind. Because at the end of the day, you know what? Everyone freaking die. So you can die a hero, you can die a douchebag, you can die a liar, whatever. The truth is, life is life. Deal with it and move on. It could always be worth. You could end up dead tomorrow and you never accomplish what you want. So with that in mind, Take care of yourself, take care of your body, and be kind, be nice, be humble, be grateful. And you will live a more content life. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be um, well-known, popular. You don't have to be all that. You just need to be you. And do what you want to do and move forward. Don't move backward. If you hit rock bottom, so what? The only way you can go is up. So aim for the stars, shoot for the moon, and that's it. Do what you said you're going to do because at the end of the day, you could end up dead and you can't do what you want to do. So be you and you know who you are and love yourself. Respect yourself. Treat yourself with tenderness and care. Treat yourself to an hour, 15 minutes of facial massage, of reading time, drinking coffee, drinking tea. Relax, but also be there for your family because they need you and they love you. So keep in contact, keep in touch with your loved one. Don't cut people off because if you cut people off, they don't know what's happening to you. They don't, they care, but they're afraid to reach out to you. And always be the one that express your feeling first because if you hold everything in, it's gonna build up and it's going to boom, explode. And then people gonna think you're cuckoo crazy and I know you're not. So, love yourself, take care of yourself, and enjoy your life. Good luck.